Hello everybody and welcome back to Casual Aquatics. Today we are going to do an updated fish room tour. I have been working in between my hours off to slowly and surely start to put this together officially. Before I lived in an apartment and I could only have so many tanks. Since I've got this new house I have more liveries to be able to set up tanks and do what I want to do. So we're going to start up here. I only got a few tanks up here and then we'll go down to the fish room. Today or earlier today I had uh, done some dye light ideas um, and uh, added to my fish room. Um, we'll see that here in a minute. And most of all of my lights are all on a Wi-Fi plug or timer of a source so to combat algae and help with plant growth. So with that said, we're going to start with this tank right here behind me on my CASA app, Wi-Fi smart plug. Um, I have it labeled planted front room. This is a newer setup tank. It's only a 55. My fish selection in here ain't necessarily what most people would think. But I'll explain that here in a minute. So in this tank you have a geophagus, you have some convicts, and you have some rainbow cichlids. Now the convicts were initially put in there to do a fish in cycle. They're tough hardy fish. You can practically throw them at the wall and they'll still live. <laughs> I'm not saying do that to your fish, but at any rate, so I use them to get it cycled. And then these rainbows were actually downstairs in another juvenile tank that these convicts were in but they bred with the male, the male was being territorial and dominating the whole tank. And they were picking on these rainbows, <clears throat> so I decided to bring them up here. And then the geo, it was the same situation. Now the next tank is the 135 cichlid tank. I've had some problems with this one uh, recently. Had a few fish die on me. I'm not even quite sure why aside from maybe uh, an ammonia spike or nitrite nitrate spike. <clears throat> At any rate, there are currently two Oscars, a flower horn, an iridescent shark, a jaguar cichlid, a common pleco and a rhino pleco, a pike cichlid, and a butter coffrey cichlid. And I also got a Raphael cat in there. Um, very sorry it's not the cleanest. I've been slacking on that and trying to get everything in order and looking good and getting some new filters or filter ideas and such. So if y'all have any ideas for me, leave them in the comments. <clears throat> and for the actual fish room, I am really excited, like I mentioned earlier, I had, uh, this place is a mess too, I need to do some more cleaning up and rearranging, but I had, uh, hung up some lights <clears throat> underneath, um, all of these boards on the rack, and, uh, I was gonna do a video about it, but... 
I figured since I'm, I'm gonna show you guys this, you would get to see it anyhow, but at any rate, I hung up tape lights, and they go all across underneath those and down and below. I need to get some for the very bottom right side. But without further ado, let me pull out my uh, handy dandy phone here. And voila! I uh, figured they might look kind of cool if I, uh, let's see, kill this light. It looks a lot better. <clears throat> Got a 20. A 10, a 20, and a 20 long. <clears throat> and I got a 55 over there with a moray eel in it. Um, got my whole stand over here set up. Some compartments and stuff to store my fish goods. And here's the 180 plywood that I'm working on getting together. Um, it's a slow process, y'all. I know my tanks aren't all crisp and pretty, but if you do your research on it, too, for certain fish to breed, they don't want crystal clear water. They want murky and mucky water, because that's what they're used to. So, at any rate, um, figured I'd show you a bunch of baby convicts, like I mentioned earlier. Let's see if I can get a better focus on this that's Kenny the con uh, Kenny <laughs> it's the dad over there um, I'm starting these tanks up just trying to get them cycled also down here I got another one 20 getting it up and cycled got some algae like crazy on this tank oh look he's gonna come say hi I don't got a name for him yet I've had him for a little while surprisingly he's my only venture into salt got my worm farm in this box and last but not least my new 75 gallon front tosa tank i need to get some more plants in here growing and everything buried down <clears throat> but yeah y'all that's pretty much it uh, i think i got one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve tanks up and going right now. Um, not all of them have fish in it or cycled. Like a Mr. Snell in there, right in the stick. But for those of you that watch this, I hope you enjoyed it. This is also a new camera I'm trying, so sorry if it's all shaky. Or, you know, a little distorted. I'm going to try to do my best to edit it. But I just want to say, for those of you that watch my videos, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Please hit the like and the notification bell if you feel you enjoyed any part of this video. I'm always open to critiques, so if you've seen something you think I should do different or you didn't quite get to see you wanted me to kind of focus in on or anything at all put it in the comments I grow off of critiques you know we, we better each other by learning from one another so at any rate again thank you very much for watching and until next time